Jersey, it's your girl, new Audi, aka Mighty Intellectual, aka y'all already know the rest. Join me as we travel to and through the African continent as we learn more about the culture, the languages, and why so many African Americans are deciding to repatriate back to Africa. If that is of interest to you, then you need to keep watching. So today is just a vlog in my life. As y'all know, Wi-Fi has been a huge issue for me, and recently my phone decided to. So before with my cell phone plan sprint i could use like slow data i could do text internet calls for free but suddenly my phone just stopped working nothing so when i was in an uber last night coming from the coffee shop i wasn't you know 100 sure that i was going the right way so it was just a bit scary for me so now i'm at Vodafone trying to get a sim card for my actual phone and then i'm gonna get my mom to call sprint to see like what's going on with my actual phone so i'm here to do the Vodafone to see if that works and then i'm gonna go also to mtn because my hawaii my five device just suddenly stopped working too and i thought it was because i didn't have enough money on it but i checked it this morning it's plenty 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 of money on it so i don't know what's going on right now and this is kind of frustrating because i can't be out here without a way to contact people if i need something especially because i don't speak tree or god or any other local languages so that's where i am now y'all it's a long line Kwabana is here helping me. Say hey, Kwabana. Hi. He's here helping me, and it's just a long line. I don't want to record people. So, yeah, I'm here. I'll let y'all know what happens if I'm able to get this in. And, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. And I forgot my shade, so I'm out here squinting like crazy. But they were having trouble registering my sim. He said it was a network issue. Yeah. So, y'all, it's always something. That's what I'm noticing. So, we're about to get on the Trotro and go to DHL. I'm doing some stuff for my e com store today. I just want to check, like, the shipping prices. And I want to figure out what will be the fastest way for me to ship items for December and 2023 back to the States. So like which, before I was using Ghana Post, I had issues with Ghana Post on this last time that I ordered things and got them shipped through them. So I kind of don't want to use Ghana Post anymore. So now I'm just going to check out DHL to see if that'll be a better option for me because we run a business, Chale. So I want to make sure that the things get to the States quicker. So that's where we're going now. We're getting on the Chocho. We're in Medina. It's really hot out today, y'all. Like really, really, really hot out today. I'm gonna put my camera up because they're gonna yell at me if they see that I'm recording in this area. So I'll see y'all when I get on the Chocho. Hey family, I am interrupting this video for a great reason, okay? I know you've been seeing Braffier all on my channel. I know you've seen it everywhere. Well, Braffier means come home in a Ghanaian language called Tweet. It's my sentiment to the diaspora. I want everyone to experience the magical feeling of peace and belonging that I felt on my very first trip to Ghana, West Africa. Are you interested in traveling to the African continent, but you just don't know where to start? You don't know who to trust on the ground. Don't know how much things cost. You really just don't know. But I know, I know. Really, really want to take that first trip to the motherland to reconnect to your ancestral land. Okay, so that's where we come in. My name is Niadi. I am your host for your first tour to Ghana, West Africa. At Braffier Tours, we create culturally based and service based experiences for you for your first trip to Ghana. So that you're not only traveling to Ghana for the first time, but you experience Ghana and the culture and all that it has to offer. You're not just able to soak up the beauty of the country, but you're also able to give back in a meaningful way. I can remember my first trip being very nervous about even planning it and not knowing where to start my first trip to Ghana was in June of 2021 I planned the whole thing luckily I found a 
this super dope Facebook group that led me to my first Ghanaian tour guide who would become a long time friend. Now, if I didn't have that tour guide for my first trip, I don't know that it would have been as magical and transformative as it was for me. I felt more confident in myself. I wanted to start a business. I had more pride <laughs> in being black and being from Africa and my ancestry. I want that experience for you. I know you may not know where to start. I know you may not know what to do, but that's where I come in. I plan the entire trip for you from Rooter to Tudor, and I will be your host on the ground, okay? Don't forget to check us out. Email us at brothiatours at gmail.com with any questions, comments, or concerns that you have, and let's prepare for your first trip to Ghana. Bye. Five. All right, y'all. So I just came out of the DHL office, and I can already tell that it's gonna be a better option than Ghana Post. So he was saying, like, typically take three to four days for things to get from this DHL office to the states. And what I'm trying to figure out now is, like, if it varies by, like, the size of the items. He did show me a little pamphlet that tells me how much things will cost, depending on what size you have. But I'm trying to figure out if the size is going to determine how long it's going to take to get to the states because what made me come to DHL is like when I used to wear sew-ins and things like that, I would order that from China and it would come via DHL and I would literally get it in like a week. So I'm thinking that the same thing should happen with from DHL in Ghana to the US. So that's what I'm trying to sort out now, guys. Doing business in Ghana. So we're calling the number now to see about the yeah, specific price. I'm, I'm Slow down. Sir, call Kanesha. I'm going to call Kanesha. Sir, call Kanesha.
this is the one at MTN. So that's where I am. We're gonna put it into my little cricket phone before I put it into my iPhone. So that's what we just did. Okay, I am really, really excited. Yeah, at the same time, I'm like, wow. All this time, I should have just started with Vodafone. So I went and got the Vodafone SIM. It took a while because the first SIM that we tried did not work with my phone. I thought it was my phone, but it turns out it was their SIM card. So we did a second SIM card and it worked. I have good service now. I'm gonna try it out for a week to see. So I have the Vodafone SIM card in my phone. The way it works is now I don't have my US number. I just have my Ghana number. So whenever I'm ready to switch back to my US number, I just pop my US SIM card back into my phone. But basically, since I have the Ghana SIM, when people call me, they have to call the Ghana number. I'll be able to call people locally. I'm only being charged for what I pay for with Vodafone. So I'm not being charged with my regular phone service outside of like my normal monthly bill. So that's great. And the service is going really fast. I'm able to get on Instagram, YouTube. The real test will be when I get home, if I'm able to upload my videos into the queue to set them to upload onto YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. I'll let y'all know if it works for me, but I have two Wi-Fi devices now. Now I have the SIM card in my phone and it's going fast. And then I have the Hawaii mobile Wi-Fi device where that's MTN. So basically, also shout out to Azana and Ghana. She just got back on YouTube, so y'all check out her channel. But she suggested that I get two different networks or even three because I believe that's what she does and I think it's gonna work out well so thank you boo y'all go follow her channel if you haven't already but yeah y'all we got wi-fi we gonna pray for the best it took a month you know I've been in Ghana for almost a month now and I'm just now getting good wi-fi but live and you learn I know now so that's what we have to work with now and I'll let y'all know if it works for the upload of my videos and how it goes for the next week That'll be in my week four reflection, how the Vodafone network is working for me. So with MTN, the, I found out that the Hawaii device wasn't registered correctly or something. So I'm waiting for my friend to use his Ghana card to register it. And then he's gonna let me know when he has done that. Then I'll be able to use the Hawaii de device again. So we'll see how that goes. and Jolof is still not the winner for me. Nigel Jolof is the winner and I've tried. The thing is too, it's like I'm not being biased at all. And y'all know how much I love Ghana. So this is like an unbiased opinion. I've tried Ghana Jolof at the restaurant. I've tried Ghana Jolof on the street. I've tried somebody make me Ghana Jolof. Still does not beat the Nigerian Jolof I've had in the States. So on my TikTok video, someone said I should try the Nigerian Jolof here and do like a blind test with Ghana and Nigerian Jolof. So I'm gonna try to do something like that. I don't know if it'll be a blind test, but to start, I'm just gonna try the Nigerian Jolof here in Ghana. And then later, I'll do a blind test with the two. But y'all, I, I know y'all want me to say Ghana Jolof is better so bad, but, and I'm trying to give it a try, but I don't think it is. So we're gonna try this Nigerian Jolof or this Nigerian restaurant by where we just left. And then we'll head back to the house. You think I should wait until we get to the house to do the video or just do it here at the restaurant? This is the restaurant I'm going to right here. Across the street. 
hungry because honey they don't care about you hello it's the same my next one this one never said it's almost the same almost 100 percent victory may 2002 December hey. 2005. Oh, this is, thank you so much. Good afternoon. Hey. Hey. This is their menu. That's the That's what they have here. Okay. Eat that you okay. mm -hmm. Which is good. Um, that was pretty much it. I'm gonna finish eating my food. But I think the Nigerian jollof is still better than the Ghana jollof to me. It just tastes. I don't. I don't really know how to describe the taste, but it just tastes better. I know that's not good. I need better words, but it just tastes better than the Ghana jollof that I've had so far. You know what I'll do? I'll do a video where I have both of them side by side, and maybe I'll get them both from a restaurant or something, so it's hot and fresh and I'll compare the two. Somebody asked me to do like a blind test where I don't know which one is which and I gotta decide which show off is which. And I bet you, I bet you I'll be able to decide. So I'm gonna think about doing that. But anyway, I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna head back to the house. I'll show y'all when we leave to head back to the house. Bye. Okay, y'all. So we have finished up at the restaurant. We are leaving the restaurant now. I made my TikTok. So I'm gonna post that when I get back to the house. I'm gonna say good night to y'all when I get back to the house. I'm gonna do a proper, proper vlog. So yeah, we're just leaving the restaurant. We're about to get on the chocho and then head back. This is day 29 in Accra, Ghana, in West Africa. Accra, day not, not Accra. 29 in Accra. <laughs> it feels like I've been here for like a week. It really feels like home. Like I'm back home in the States. This is crazy. Yeah, I just feel like I'm home. That's the best way I can describe it. My reflection video for week three has already been out. So you all should see that. And then week four, if it hasn't come already. So I'll catch up with y'all once I make it back to the house. Actually y'all, today is the day I reached 1K subscribers. I'm really excited, but it's just like, I don't really know how to celebrate. Like in my mind, I had, once I reached 1K, I was gonna do like 1K balloons or something. I don't even know where I would even get that here. I don't even know. So I don't know how I wanna celebrate. I'm also tired, but I definitely wanna celebrate. I believe in celebrating every milestone. Treating my 1K subscribers like I have 1 million subscribers. That is like what I wanna go by. So when I do have 1 million subscribers, it's not like, ooh, anything new. I wanna give value whether I have three subscribers or 10,000. So thank y'all for getting me to 1K subscribers. I'm super excited to grow with y'all. It has been difficult. It's really not easy, y'all, to like get a thousand subscribers. So I actually, I'm gonna film tomorrow a video talking about my journey to 1K subscribers. I think that will be very helpful for people who are starting their YouTube channels. Sometimes like underestimate like what I know. So I just want to just pour out whatever information I have about how I created my YouTube channel and things like that. So I'll create a separate video about that. But just know getting the thousand subscribers, it wasn't easy and I had to like stand up inside of myself and decide that like I'm gonna be consistent regardless, no matter what. I had to decide I'm gonna be consistent. And that honestly just happened more recently, really. And I think I could have gotten to a thousand quicker if I would have decided more quickly that I was gonna be consistent and make it a habit to post every week so but anyway y'all thank you I'll do a whole separate video where I talk about my journey to a thousand subscribers so I'm not gonna wrap y'all up here but thank you and I'll see y'all when I get to the house all right Jim so I made it back to my house 
and chow i'm tired so we're gonna eat some plantains and some kind of tomato stew and then your girl is gonna i was about to say go to bed but unfortunately no not yet so i'm gonna shower while they're cooking and then i'm going to do some planning for december because we literally have like two days until the start of december and i definitely want to participate in vlogmas so i'm gonna do some planning for that some planning for my e-com store if you haven't already make sure you check it out it's www.brafier.com okay i have it up to 30 also running right now through the end of December um, if you want to support my channel that is a beautiful way to support I'm only doing US shipping right now so definitely tap into that I have these convertible jumpers that are really really beautiful and then I will also have a surprise item for you all towards the end of December so definitely support if you made it this far you know your family I love y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you are the first okay <laughs> not the second third fourth or fifth to know when i drop my next video i hope y'all enjoyed today's vlog it was really fun it was a long day as you can tell i'm very tired i'm about to let my hair down and do what i need to do so i will see y'all in the next one this is ghana y'all this is africa i hope y'all come back to mama africa and explore all that she has to offer i love y'all see you on the next one bye